What's going on everybody, it's Fat Track. Today I'm gonna show you a simple tutorial on how to sync your MPC into Pro Tools using MIDI. Let's go. All right, you guys, so in order to do this, um, I have a, a Mio MIDI uh, to USB, and I'll put a link in my description so that you can get one. All right, so on the back of your MPC, you have MIDI in, one and two, and you have MIDI out, A, B, C, and D. Super dope having four MIDI outs. On this Mio, you have a MIDI in, which is the the white, and you have a MIDI out, which is the, the black. So we're gonna go MIDI out, I'm gonna go into number two. MIDI in, I'm gonna go to MIDI out D. You take a USB and you plug it into your USB in the computer. So what you wanna do is you wanna hit your mode button Go to pad nine, which is MIDI sync. You're gonna hit sync, F2. I don't touch any of this over here, just hit sync. Remember my plug, the MIDI in was not one, it was two, right? And you wanna turn your mode to MIDI clock. Then your sync out was not A, B, C, it was D, right? And you wanna go down and turn it to MIDI clock. That's my MPC settings. Let's go into Pro Tools. I'm gonna be doing a demonstration of this song called Never Let Go. I produced it on Fat Tracks from the MPC 2. In this session, it's real simple. I just have a master, stereo master track, and I have the Never Let Go stereo audio track I normally track all my beats out I track all my kicks my snares my hi-hats my samples everything out because I want full control right the most important thing you want to do is you want to set up your beats per minute so I've set mine up because I know that the intro started off around 72 71.5 beats per minute and my overall tempo was 79.3. Normally, I use the tap tempo on my beat machine and it comes out like radio stations, 99.1, 98.2. So I have two different tempos right here that I set up because if you only have it at 72, the normal beat that you'll hear, if it's not at 79.3, it's gonna be really slow. Then, you want to go to setup, go down here to MIDI, and you want to go to MIDI Studio. You're going to want to go to your window and show the MIDI Studio. This is very important. So here we're showing the MIDI Studio, right? I already have it set up, but when you're here, you're going to want to hit Add Device. So we hit add device. A new device will pop up right here. And look, it's got one triangle going inward to the machine. That's for MIDI in and one triangle going up or out of the machine. MIDI in, MIDI out. Double click on the device and you know, I'll change the icon. I'm using the beat machine. Let's use this one. And we're gonna hit apply so look it changed it right here the most important place you want to go to is ports okay port one remember the MPC 2500 has two MIDI ends so here's one MIDI in I'm not gonna do the MIDI out just yet so we'll hit zero okay so and it'll say one then you're gonna go down here where it says add and remove a port so we're gonna add one new port not the cigarette double click on it and hit two 
boom we got part two midi in one midi out none right the npc has two midi ends so we have two ports right now two midi ends no midi out look right here on our device matter of fact let me title it npc 25k all right boom npc 2500 two midi ends right so we're gonna add another port this way here will be a because it has a b c and d right so a no midi in right zero midi out one we're gonna add another port b hit enter no midi in midi out one new port c enter no midi in midi out one and d no midi in midi out one if we hit apply look over here npc 25k one in two in the outs a b c and d and all you do is you take this remember we're going in two so you go out from the mio which is down and then you go into number two boom the end for the mio we're gonna go out d remember on my 2500 i'm going out d to the end boom that's how you connect the midi device you want to go back to setup go over here to midi and then we, we were done with the studio now we have to go to beat clock there should be two that pop up and lo and behold boom we got an akai mpc 2500 this is my original and we have the new one i just created mpc 25k2 you want to click on that and hit okay and arm the track and as soon as we hit command space bar it should play my beat machine this song what you're gonna hear uh i produce is called never let go it's off of fat tracks from the npc number two featuring martex nephew my boy martex man trilateral commission marcus aurelius his nephew jacory this is the overall beat that i did uh-oh hey and we just made the MPC 2500 be triggered by Pro Tools. When I'm sending beats off to people, normally I track them out, but if I'm in a rush, I'll do a two track real quick, send it to them. I might have to make a video on how I track my beats out so that you guys can see that process. But this is how you made it sync it, y'all. Hit stop, boom. There you have it, you guys. MIDI syncing using Pro Tools and the MPC. It's not as hard as what people make it out to be. For the longest time, I was asking a lot of people on my journey as a beginner, and man, it was like the biggest secret. It's so easy to do. And this is how you actually get your beats lined up in Pro Tools, you know, so you can get it on grid mode and they line up, the beats per minute line up, you know. I've heard producers that track out beats and have to go in and line up all their tracks. Like, that's too much work. Shout out to the person that made up MIDI. Thank you for allowing it, you know, to trigger all of the sounds, all of the you know, drum machines, you can put them all together and have them all synced up and all in time. Just want to say thank you for watching. I hope it helps you out. Definitely, definitely hit that subscribe. Smash the like if you liked it. I hope it gave some value to you. God bless everybody. Peace.